Hi, this is Guy Wallace. If your instructional analysis didn't uncover the process performance requirements for the facilities and grounds, then you won't be able to share that with your learners so that they can be on the lookout for that being adequate or not before they start and what to do about it if and when they confront any inadequacies in that enabler of the process. Knowing the facilities and grounds requirements of the process is important and learners who are performers back on the job need to be taught to anticipate and what and when and how to look for and then deal with any inadequacies regarding facilities and grounds. Of course, if you're just shoveling content to them on topics versus authentic task performance leading to worthy outputs that meet stakeholder requirements, then it doesn't really matter anyway, does it? But it should matter because you shouldn't be shoveling topics with face validity when you could be sharing how to perform tasks to produce outputs with authentic performance validity. Understanding what's needed regarding facilities and grounds is critical to initial learning in formal instructional means, whether via job aids and or training, and also learning later in both social and informal learning means and to the ultimate success of the learners back on the job. And isn't that what it's all about? Performance requires much more than just knowledge and skills. Go for performance.